Welcome to the 2024 Blitzball World Series Championship game and we have a rematch. KCBL versus Gainesville. Gainesville came in as the number one seed after pool play and KCBL was able to knock them off. But Gainesville worked their way back up, defeated Swisher on a walk off the last game and now they're looking for revenge. Gainesville, KCBL for the championship. This game will be four innings. The pitching rules will just double. Before each pitcher can only pitch one inning, now each pitcher has two. An extended game, a lot more blitz ball. What are your thoughts going into this one? You've got a team of Gainesville who can do anything. All four of them can pitch, all four of them can hit. They can do it all. I think the two guys behind me are gonna do great on the mound. Uh, we just gotta keep up the hitting. We've been hitting all tournament. I've been saying this on repeat. Hitting wins championships. Keep it simple, stupid. Let's freaking go. I want it bad. Very, 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 very bad. Th this is our take two. We're getting it. It's time to want it badder than them. You've got KC who's bringing in guys from around the state of Missouri and to create a dream team that they obviously like. Our whole thing has been be a team, work together. The best group of guys we could ask to bring here. And I mean, it's, it's shown. You said undefeated, but job's not finished and everybody knows that. I mean, up and down the lineup, I'm confident in putting any of our players in any situation, and we proved that against Gainesville. I believe we have the chance to do it again. Both teams could get it done here today, and when you have four innings of Blitzball, anything can happen. Here we go. Joey DeMeo, who was a Blitzball World Series champion last year with Como Blitzball, is the starting pitcher. One hit allowed the entire tournament. Here we go. The first pitch of the 2024. Blitzball World Series, and that is strike one down the middle. The 4 2. Got the zone ah, top pipe. Ah, ah, that was gross. <laughs> Went low and shut him down to Joey DeMeo. Out number one as Joey sits down the first batter. His fastball is so bad. No offense. And now second up in the order, Patrick Jacob. Gainesville trying to get their first base runner in this game. Full count delivery from Joey. Dips down and hits the batter. First base runner. Runner on first for Gainesville. Joey's shoes are drippy. I won't lie. They, they're matching the blue on the jersey. I like the contrast. Definitely. He looks he looks Hawaiian. He looks like Ronaldo or Joey. We're not really sure the delivery is. In the air. Popped up. Matt Foster got the catch. Makes the catch in foul territory. Even had to work around the camera guy for the second out of the inning. And, uh... I mean, good play over there from Matt. Hits him. Second hit the at-bat and two walks through the first time through the order for Joe DeMeo, a little uncharacteristic from him. And now the number one batter in this lineup is now stepping up with two runners on. Fouls it back, big hack there from Jack. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Entire team is showing the same thing and that's exactly why they're here. The wind up with two strikes. Got him, Joey DeMeo. No runs allowed, strike number three. Good pitch. I gotta stop taking those, man. Zeros through the top of the first, and now the dangerous KCBL lineup will be stepping up to try to put some runs on the board. This just in, Lou Dab in the booth, championship game. Thoughts so far? Whose money line do you have? Well, I've said it after we faced them uh, day one. I, I got KC. I think those guys have phenomenal team chemistry. Uh, very positive gentlemen there. Don't sleep on Gainesville because they, they have that dog in them. And once again, Gainesville is going with David Drzwicki on the bump. The two-strike pitch. Hits him second hit of the at-bat. Drew Sappingfield, the leadoff batter for KC, will reach. Big hack, oh my God. One of the biggest swings of the entire tournament. Matt is talking to himself. I don't know if you guys heard that audio, but we just got a big gasp behind the plate. That could have been dangerous. Another big swing, but that's strike two. Maybe Matt needs to slow down the bat a little bit. He is swinging out of his shoes right now, looking for that home run ball, that big hit, and strike number three. Three pitches, three big swings. Nice pitch able to blow it by him yeah, under yeah, the speed yeah. limit. That's out number one. I mean, we, we genuinely just went down a couple degrees in temperature during that at bat. The wind was crazy. Big old gusts over here. Yeah, Sailboats. Definitely. Sailboats are, I mean, look. See, look, look, at the, see. Look, look at the breeze. 
Ground ball in play. Straight to David, and he will watch, watch, get watch, watch, the watch, watch. out at one. Run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. Drew Sappingfield will stop at two. Joey moves the runner over as Gainesville able to tag first. The little brother of Drew Sappingfield rounding out the lineup, Blake Sappingfield. And a hit left side. Luke James fields it, and they will just eat it. Uh, probably a smart decision there because an overthrow. Drew could possibly make a home and score that big first run. It's a very smart decision there to stay for sure. Now, Drew gets to come up with runners on first and second. He got his team here last year and now this year. And he's putting together great at bats. He's going to be on first. KCBL, bases loaded, Matt Foster. No home runs to show for it, but this would be the time. Bases loaded, two outs, two strikes, the pitch. Oh, and it's laced off the fence. And a run will score. A base hit for Matt Foster, a big rip to the right side. That big swing pays off there, and a run comes in. All the runners go up one spot. Bases remain loaded. KCBL in the lead, 1-0. First pitch, strike one from David. Earlier in this tournament, Joey called himself a PO, but he needs to come through with a bat here. Big swing, fouls it off. Now, if you're not familiar with the term PO, it basically means Joey is as good as a walking strikeout. One strike away is David, 4-2. Oh, almost called it. Two outs, bases loaded, full count delivery from David. We'll do it again, a foul tip from Joey. Great job of staying alive. Good AB here from Joey. And we will go again. The pitch inside. Joey able to take it, and that will make the game two to zero on that walk. Let's go. We still got. Yeah, it is a long, it's game. a long game. We still got a, we still got a while to go. We... Yeah, I think we should just keep it cooking. All right. Because I mean, it's it's. Me yeah. Easy space. Easy space. Let's go. Keep pumping in the zone. Let's go. The two strike delivery. Got it. Outside corner and Gainesville will limit the damage to two, they gotta get some runs. And then that first inning against Joey, I mean, Joey's one of the best pitchers in the tournament. They're gonna have to find a way to get runs. They gotta have at least two now. 14, let me see those hands. Check the neck. Oh, a little sweaty back. Oh, we're good, we're good. All right, we're good. We're good. And this is one of the biggest developing stories of the entire tournament. Cooper Carley has replaced Matt Foster as the number two pitcher on the KCBL squad and this guy picked up a blitz ball six months ago. How insane is that? Full count delivery from Cooper Carley. Outside, leadoff batter will reach for Gainesville. Ground ball, flips, and nobody is there. He is safe over there at second. I mean, that was just honestly a really good play from Joey, but Matt also shifted towards the ball side instead of the base side. And we've been talking about this team's chemistry, but it just went out the window just a little bit there, and it's going to cost them. The 4-2. Got him. What a spot. Bottom inside. Out number one. That's a good pitch. This is where Gainesville wants to capitalize. You have the more unexperienced pitcher in Cooper, and you have your best hitter at the plate. You gotta capitalize at some point. The three, two from Cooper. Go! Yeah! Off speed, the bender. Sits down, Jack. Two down. I cannot say enough good things about Cooper. He can land every pitch. It looks weirdly unstoppable right now. Full count with two outs. The pitch from Cooper, outside takes it. Gainesville, it's gonna get interesting. Bases are loaded. They're down two, so that runner on second. If they make it in, tie ball game. I mean, we knew it. We knew it coming into this inning that Gainesville was capable of scoring runs, and here they are in a spot to do just that. However, Cooper, you know, he's had his moments good. He's had his moments bad. We got to see what he's going to decide here. Big swing, strike one, foul tips that one right on it is David Drez, they like to call him. Big swing down the line, one run's gonna come in. 
And Luke James is gonna stay at third. Big decision there to play it safe. There's two outs, do you take the chance there? I mean, Case Bill was bobbling it, fumbling it there in left field. Do you, do you try to run in if, if, if you're Luke James? I mean, Cooper did a great job of covering the plate, but Luke James sees Joey and Matt both in the corner, again miscommunicating. They were both trying to field that ball, and as soon as I see that, I'm taking off because I'm trying to tie this ball game up. So that could be a mistake there, but you have to dial in and keep it moving here. One out left in the inning. KCBL and Cooper Carley, one strike away from sending this to the bottom of the second. Ball in play, fielded by Joey. No play made. Oh my goodness, the defense from KCBL. Joey and Matt just miscommunication there. The run scores and it is now a tie ball game, two to two. The defensive woes for those two continue as they, as they did in the regular season to come up with ball. With the steamrollers, those two just have not figured out how to play deep. Safe! Man down. All tied up here. Jack is up with the bases loaded and two outs. Five and one pitch, one ball away. And it is. Another run comes in for Gainesville and they now have the lead. Three to two on that walk. And Patrick Jacob, this guy had a big hit last game. Ball in play. Joey Fields. Oh Nobody God. is at second. One run scores. Two run score. Two run score for Gainesville, and that is the five run cap. They are maxed there. Five to two. The score. The defensive woes. You can't draw it up. Nobody on second base. Over and over and I mean. We just said it before, they needed to talk that over, they had to get something changed, and they didn't. And I, you could argue that four of those five runs is simply because they didn't communicate on defense. And with all of that, we're still just in the bottom of the second in this four inning game. A lot of action here early. KCBL trying to make up the deficit. And the guy on the mound for Gainesville is Patrick Jacob, has been one of the stars of the tournament. And he's been on fire on the mound. One of those guys who can locate any pitch at any time Full count to start the inning. Misses inside, lead off walk. Back to back walks. Misses, ball high. A walk will make the bases loaded. First three reach base. Struggling to find the zone uncharacteristically. And this is shaping up to be a very high scoring game. Already 5 2, and we're only in the bottom of the second of this four inning game. Takes it, no pitches to hit there, and KSPL will take their run, five to three. Honestly, feels like you're uh, playing to your situation, playing to your competition, because this is uncharacteristic. They haven't really walked in runs this tournament, and now all of a sudden when they have a lead, they do. It is a little bit unfortunate for them, but something's gotta switch up here. Curveball lands. The 5-1 from Patrick lands, and that's going to force a full count. What will Drew do? Will Drew keep the bat on the shoulder, or will he go for it? He swings and misses. First out of the inning. Bases are still loaded, though. Still in the driver's seat is KC. Got two more runs to make up. The 5-1 misses. Another walked-in run, 5-4. Full count. Hits him, hit batter, and a tie ball game. A tie ball game off of one. Yeah. It's unfortunate if you're Gainesville. The arms attack. First strike there. Strike one. I mean, yeah, Patrick's been just lights out this entire tournament, and you can see it on camera, in person. They're wearing down. They're wearing down. You're gonna have to rejuvenate somehow. Big rip! Blink! Sapping field! A grand slam! That one will cap the inning! A big swing there! And they hit the five run cap. Seven to five is the score. The four spot. 
Blake sapping field with a shot to end the second inning. And we're halfway through this one, seven to five. Lot of ball game left, only halfway through. Big shot from Blake. The brothers, they love it. They're celebrating. Blake Sapping Field is not the guy you expected to do that, but he did it. And that's all that's all that needs to be said. The, the umpires are checking him for performance enhancing objects on his body. I mean, I, I would I mean that was a shot. That was a shot. The umpires are checking the bat. We need confirmation, umps. <laughs> On six pitches, Joey allows the walk. Dude, I think like one of the hardest things to do is to pitch to start a game and then come back in a game. That's so tough. Ball in play. And safe all the way around. And because of the throw, David able to reach third and runners on the corners. Not a bad defensive play there. Went for the out. All it did, it gave Gainesville runners on the corners now instead of first and second. Step out pitch, got the swing. The awkward delivery from Joey pays off. And he's able to do that every once in a while. The step out, you know, the batter almost panics on something like that. An actual normal inning so far here. It. Laced, fair ball, a run will score. Luke James on third. Patrick Jacob on a tear with the bat here recently. Full count to David. First base is open. The pitch outside. Base is loaded. Wow, and they're doing this against Joey. Ground ball. Left side. Fair ball. Steps on third, but a run will score. Two outs. It's now a tie ball game. All tied up at seven. Good play there from Casey. I will give them that. They made the play, but a run comes in for Gainesville. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. I like that better than zero. Got it. That did get the bottom pipe. Outside. That one's low. Outside pipe. The two strikes Joey's landing this at bat. I barely tipped the zone. He got bottom pipe, outside pipe. Where will this one go? The two strike delivery from Joey down the middle. Looks at it, does Jack, sits him down seven to seven, headed into the bottom of the third inning. Joey, so clutch right there. Keep this game seven seven. You cannot ask for a better score in a championship game, a tie ball game, and a lot of runs. Come on. And look here, Jack, the captain of Gainesville, has put himself back in the game before. We didn't even think we'd see him on the bump. He's had some arm problems, gets a strike there past Drew, but they've decided they need him in this championship. And I agree, you, you gotta have your best players out there and he gets the chase. That riser is working, the best riser in all blitz. Well, I'll say it right now, the best riser gets the chase. Strike two, the two strike delivery. I mean, he said he, said he wasn't gonna pitch, but I heard him on the sideline a second ago uh, Patrick ran into some location issues, his arm hurting. Drez slid into third earlier, hurt his shoulder. And he got him! Steps into the game when we didn't even think he'd pitch this game. Sits down the number four batter in blitz ball. That's a strikeout, out number one. Great sign for Jack and Gainesville. Both of these teams looking for their first ever blitz ball World Series championship. A lot on the line here. Ground ball. Back to Jack diving, tosses, what oh a play! Oh my goodness, Chandler, what did got we just it. see? Jack is doing it by himself right now. Got the strikeout, and then a fantastic play, jumping off the mound, falls as he feels the ball, recoups, tosses it sideways. Completely Man, on sideways. His, on his side, I don't even know what to call what just happened. Two outs now. Let's see if Jack can make it three against Joey DeMeo. Hasn't had any issues so far in the pitch of Joey. Oh my God, Joey DeMeo, a solo shot. Right as I'm talking about how good Jack has pitched so far this inning, Joey DeMeo absolutely laces that one to the right side and puts his team up by one, eight to seven, the score here in the bottom of the third. 
got to be happy for a guy like Joey. And I hate to say it, but he doesn't do that very often. And you could tell because he didn't know where third base was when he was rounding the bases. But that's why you got to be so happy for him. Just a solo shot, though. Everyone's still in this game. But wow, it's getting exciting. Got him. Three outs in the inning. Honestly, a great outing by Jack. Just the solo home run there. But their backs are against the wall. They need at least one run here. And KCBL has the chance to have their first ever Blitz Bowl World Series Championship. And it's going to come off the back of a guy who picked up a Blitz Bowl six months ago. I, I can't draw That's it up. That's a great story. That's a great story. And he's got to be feeling some type of way because you at home, you might not think Blitz Bowl could get this big. But I promise you, Cooper would tell you differently as he stands here on the mound with a chance to put up a zero and clinch the World Series for his team, KCBL. First pitch, fly ball over to Drew to start the inning real quick on the first pitch. Just like that, KCBL, two outs away. Big oh swing. God. And reminder, just one big swing will tie this up. Just one. It, all it takes is one. But on the other end, all it takes from Cooper is two more. This could go anywhere. Eight to seven. Top of the fourth, did go. He did go around on that. We have confirmation from everybody. He did go. Two strikes. One strike away. Got him! Oh, the big bender from Cooper. Oh, my goodness. The two quickest outs we've seen, I think, in the entire tournament. Big swing. Strike two, Luke James chases. Remember, Luke James, two home runs in this tournament. KCBL, one strike away. Got it! Cooper Carly has done it! KCBL is your 2024 Blitzball World Series champions. And they did it with a pitcher who picked up a Blitzball just six months ago. Long awaited victory for KCBL. It's been a long time coming in this tournament. This is a new thing, courtesy of uh, Michael and the Givens Back Foundation. We are going to have all the World Series winners engraved. I'm going to take it home with me to engrave these. Can't say enough about it. This was an amazing game, one of the best I've ever seen. After so many second place finishes, a heartbreaker last year, uh, they were finally due for one and they played like the champions they were. Uh, I want to give them another round of applause to the champions, KCBL. Yeah! Last year, made it to the championship, came one game short. They add Joey DeMeo, they add Cooper Carley. Those are the two who are pitching today. And a big hack from none other than Blake Sappingfield, KCBL, your 2024 Blitzball World Series champions. I mean, it was really an all around effort, like you said in the pregame. I mean, it feels like we're champions right here, you know? It's what we've been working for, you know, coming out to all these tournaments. It's, I mean, we come out here to have fun, but we also come out here to win, and it, it feels a lot better being on this side of, of the winning. The only part that kind of sucked about that was it was a grand slam that only counted for two runs, <laughs> which it sucks, but, you know, I'm glad that I could help out my team in the win, and glad I could say I, I did something in the win. It's currently January. He picked up blitz ball six months ago, and he just closed it out to win the Blitzball World Series. First off, Special shout out Matt, he introduced me to Blitzball. So if it weren't for him, I would not be in Tampa Bay, Florida right now. They've been able to help me, Joey and Matt, especially with pitching, Drew and Blake with hitting. So I mean, just like this tournament, all around team, team effort for sure. And guys, I'm sure it feels pretty damn good. 2024 Blitzball World Series yeah. champions. Here we go. This is the best competition we've ever had for a World Series. And they're the guys who come out on top, did not lose a single game. And the, the only team that had Gainesville's number was KC, and that, that's why they ended up winning. Tip my cap to Gainesville because they had a hell of a tournament. I mean, that's a group of guys that's going to be back. And, uh, you know, they're probably sad right now, but they got to uh, hold their heads high because they put on a hell of a show, uh, as did everybody here at this 2024 Blitzball World Series. Came one game short. They had you in the mail. They had Steph McCarley. Those two strike away. Yeah! 